Hello everybody, I have found another story that has got a bear in it. This one is called My Friend Bear and this story is full of rhyming words. So see if you can hear all the words that sound the same. Eddie's walking with his teddy. Eddie's teddy's name is Freddy. Oh Freddy, said Eddie with a great big sigh. I feel sad but I don't know why. Freddy said nothing. Eddie sighed again. I wish you could talk, he said. And then, wow, look at that. Up there on that stone, a giant teddy all on his own. We've seen him before. He belongs to the bear who lives around these woods somewhere. Suddenly, something made Eddie turn round. A snuffling, scuffling bear sort of sound. A great big voice whined, where's my teddy? He's coming, he's coming, let's hide, cried Eddie. There he is. The great big bear came shuffling by, then stopped with a sniff and started to cry. Oh, Teddy, he whimpered, what can I do? I've got no friends apart from you. You can't talk and you don't care. I'm such a sad and lonely bear. Then just as he brushed a tear from his eye... A little voice whispered, please don't cry. I'm all on my own, just like you. With no one to talk to and nothing to do. I'm a bit lonely too, you see. If you want, you can talk to me. The bear couldn't believe his ears. He gulped and sniffed and wiped his tears. Oh, you could talk after all, he cried. Of course I can talk, the voice replied. The bear came closer and scratched his head. Why didn't you talk before, he said. Because I'm scared, said the voice, and small and shy. And you're a great big bear, that's why. There, there, said the bear. You are in a muddle. What you need is a great big cuddle. <gasps> no, I don't, screeched the voice. Yes, you do, said the bear. You just need some loving care. Don't be scared, you're my teddy. No, I'm not, cried the voice. It's me, Eddie. The bear stared at Eddie and clung to his teddy. Eddie stared back and hung on to Freddy. Suddenly, Eddie started to grin. He felt a chuckle rise up from within. He tried to stop it, but it wouldn't stay down. What's so funny? asked the bear with a frown. It's you, giggled Eddie. It's you standing there. You're such a great big silly bear. No, I'm not, said the bear. Yes, you are, yelped Eddie. You thought you had a talking teddy. Then the bear began to snigger. The smile on his face grew bigger and bigger. His great big belly wiggled and jiggled. I am a silly bear, he giggled. A talking teddy, I thought it was true, but all along it was really you. The bear held out his giant-sized teddy, crouched down behind it and said, Hello, Eddie, I'm a talking teddy, listen to me, aren't I clever, I'm only three. Then Eddie wanted to have a go, he held up his teddy and squeaked, Hello, my name's Freddy, how do you do, I can talk. And I'm only two. Then they laughed and they laughed till their tummies were sore. And they laughed and they looked at each other and laughed some more. The bear started dancing and singing a song. And he made up the words as he wobbled along. I'm silly, he sang, and I don't care. I'm such a great big silly bear. Woohoo, sang Eddie, I'm as silly as you. And your Teddy and Freddy are silly too. All afternoon they played in the sun, seeing just who was the silliest one. When the sun began to set in the sky, they knew it was time to say goodbye. We're friends, said Eddie. The bear said, who? You know, said Eddie, me and you. The bear lifted Eddie up for a hug, hairy and berry, safe and snug. Take care, he said. Look after Freddy. Back soon, whispered Eddie. 
Then off they walked with a smile and a wave, back to a house and back to a cave. Do you think they're lonely? Not anymore. That's what having friends is for. I hope you enjoyed that story today, everybody. See you soon. Bye.